Well, I thought it was rather apropos that we uh, work on this a little bit. And I thought it was, I thought it not robbery if we'd come back and, well, examine how this all got started. So here are the emails. Now, of course, I'm going to do my very best to make sure that you not see certain things, although I'll leave the email addresses, well, at least mine anyway, because I've always put mine out there if you want to contact me so you can see how this started. So as you can clearly see on the details, Victor Moore was correct in saying that the first email message came through at about 2.01 in the morning. So let's read this, shall we? I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you the details on each of the messages so you can see when they came through. So as, as you saw the first screen, it was 2.01 in the morning. This is when he responded back to me. 47 minutes later. And now he says I'm emailing him at 3 o'clock in the morning. So let's load this message, shall we? Now, notice the timestamp. This was the next day. Ladies and gentlemen, the next day. I'm not quite grasping how this conversation went on all through the wee hours of the morning and into the next day. Now, for the purposes of uh, working this out here, remember, this goes to my position where I said this took place before Lent. But that will come back into play later. Now, you're looking through these emails, of course, and I'm going to do my very best to slowly go them, pause on them for a few seconds so you can read this for yourself. I don't want to read them for you. I'm not going to treat you guys like you're idiots. I want you to read this yourself. Now, this, again, the exchanges you're reading, these are the timestamps. I, sure, I know I cut that off pretty quickly. I want you to read that. See the timestamps. This conversation, the bulk of it takes place the next day, later that day, Tuesday, 209 in the morning, 201 in the morning, 248, and they don't really pick up again for another seven hours. Now, I want you to pay attention to something he says right here. Because he's upset about what pro black Chris did. And he says uh, he attacked his wife. I want you to keep your eye on this. Hopefully, if I figured out this Camtasia thing, I'm going to zoom in on this point so you can read this really good. I want you to pay attention because it's important that when I go to his Facebook page, you can see this for yourself. So, you know, I didn't make shit up when I accused him of something. I, I can stand on it. So let's continue down the list. Again, now I'm showing you when I replied back to him. 10.08 is when he mailed me. He got one back roughly 14 minutes later. I'm not really paying attention that much, but just enough that when I get the annoyance of a, of a message, I respond to it. So you see for yourself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a man who released screenshots saying I said something. But somehow, I'm able to not only open the inbox and show you, I'm able to pull it up for you to see. Now, please tell me how I could have misrepresented this. How did I lie on him? Somebody tell me. So, this is just an email say I had a typo in it. So, here we go. And this is important. And I'm going to see if I can actually, on my keyboard, zoom in so you can make it, make it bigger. Okay, it zoomed in a little bit more. That's good. I want you to read this. Please, I want you to look at what he's claiming. I want you to look at what he's claiming, and then I want you to tell me how, when, where, how did I screw this up. Now, his Facebook video, what I'll do is I'll show you the video, and then I'll download it, and then I'll actually put it into the show, but it'll give me a chance to trim out all the fluff, because I really know this video is going to be long, and I don't want to keep you guys way past time. I really don't. So, let's look. Now, this is my response to the lane, and again... This response was at 11.09, 11.09, that's when the response is, I'm going to show it again, let us sit, this is where it came from, 
This is where it went to. This is the date and the time. The previous message, I didn't show that to y'all. He sent this at 10.53. So the, the exchanges are roughly 10 to 20 minutes apart. This is how it went. But let's continue. Now, this is where he gets upset. And this is where everything I've said, excuse me, I know I jumped back up. Everything I said in my previous videos regarding this exchange that you see right here, you can see for yourself. Now, this is at 1148 when he sent this one to me. This was also 11.33. My one response in between those two messages came at 11.37. I didn't say much else. Now, he went on to attack somebody else that was affiliated with me. Here's first off, here's a timestamp. And I think you can go on, you can see what's going on from here. And so on and so forth. And of course, the other um, the two messages had much to do with the issue of Block Talk Radio when I spoke to him. Now, he says that the actual information is on the uh, Facebook page, right? So, let's see. Now, you saw the email address, so you know I've already plugged it in. And this is the actual page. And let's go down, shall we? As you can clearly see, there's nothing so far showing uh, Tommy Sotomayor did any sort of thing. In fact, let's click on some of these videos while we're here. Over oh, Stedham's video. That's not his video, so can't be that. Interesting. We'll get back to that later. Wallpapers, show promos, live leaks. I mean, this is all the shit that Victor Mo's talking about, but he's pro black, right? He, he's down for his people. Uh huh. Now, ain't this something? Why would he be studying Tommy like this? I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. Where would he get this from? And why would he be studying this? I'm going to move on. How to roast Tommy Sotomayor. Uh-huh. So, not only does he harass the man, he promotes other people who harass him, too. Let's keep going. Bible sermons or Black History Revealed, okay. More Tommy Sotomayor stuff. Let's look at some of these comments. I mean, it's a six minute long video. And of course, thankfully, this will be going in the evidence folder. It will. It always does. More wood for the pile. So, this is a YouTube video. I'll click the link to this. Let's see what's. Let's open this link in the new tab. Let's see what this is. We bring the clones and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. 
You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. This is Sparta! Duty into the king of game, Tariq Elite, on Tariq Elite Radio. I'm not even going to get back with that dumbass shit because <laughs> that's pointless. But let's just be honest. Anyone that attacks Tommy Sotomayor, he will bump. My protection from my protection video for my family safety from online death threats. Okay, maybe this is what he's talking about. So let's see what this is what he's talking about. Let's let's watch y'all. The 22 minute video. So you know I'm gonna jump a little bit because he's very long winded without saying much at all. So let's see if this video up, actually loads up. Let's see what he got. Yeah, man. I want to clear up some um, confusion. Let's see. Okay, he seems to have something here. Is the Arizona state law? Now y'all can see the link right there at the top. Okay, what let's I watch. Do here is scroll down because right here, the Arizona state law says here it is unlawful for any person with intent to terrify, intimidate, threaten, harass, annoy, or offend to use any electronic or digital device and use any obscene, lewd, or profane language or suggest any lewd or ooh, uh, levicious, I said that word wrong, <laughs> or threaten, inflict physical harm to the person or property of any person. So, Basically, in the state of Arizona, it is illegal, okay, to intimidate or threaten anyone to inflict physical harm to a person or property. Now, this whole element of stalking, okay, because this is the part of Article 2 right here, I mean, right here at the bottom. It says, um, the element of course of conduct, it talks about maintaining visual or physical proximity to a specific person or directing verbal, written, or other threats, whether expressed or implied, to a specific person on two or more occasions over a period of time, however short, using any electronical, digital, global positioning system device to surveil a specific person or a specific person's internet or wireless activity continuously for 12 hours or more on two or more occasions over a period of time, however short. Now, you have to ask yourself, for as long as anyone's been following me, for as long as anyone's been following uh, me and Tommy and TRS, when have I ever physically stalked Tommy for 12 hours straight? Where can he prove that I have been stalking him on any day for one day for 12 hours straight? Now, there's a simple way for me to prove this. What I'm going to do right now is go to my Facebook page. Now, if I was able to uh, harass and stalk Tommy, you would think it'd be through here, right? It would be through um, the messaging system. Now, the last message I even sent Tommy was the photo of that uh, woman that he was speaking with that he thought was a fat white bitch. And I sent him a photo to his face. Wait a minute. Let's see if he actually show shows the, uh, the, the harassing was. message he sent his wife. That, I have had no contact with Tommy on Facebook. And I'm going to prove that right now. First of all, if I go to his fan page right here, all of the Tommy fans, all of the fans that are on this page, okay? If I scroll down, if you look closely, I cannot comment on any single post that Tommy has put up because Tommy has been blocking me on his page for the last, uh, let's say, three years. All right, I haven't come on, Vic. Give us the anything. inbox, please. Okay, now, we look here, and let's go to his page that I sent the photo to, which is here. Okay? Notice how he did not friend me. I am not a friend, you know, but uh, I see Billy just in the corner. But you see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not a friend of Tommy whatsoever. Now, I don't know if this will even show, which it won't. It won't even show where I sent him that message. I'd have to go into my archives. But notice, I have no way of contacting him. Let's check Twitter. This is my Twitter account. Ronnie Mann, right? Now, let's go and see if I could leave Tommy a message on Twitter. Okay, Vic, you're not showing where he attacked you, right? So. Okay. Oh, look, see, he comes up. He comes up really, pretty quick when you type his name in. There he is right here, right? That's Tommy, right? That's his, this is his handle, right? I've been blocked on his Twitter account for as long as he's had it. 
Do you see? This is evidence. So where could Tommy prove that I have been stalking him? Because I can't get on his Facebook. I can't get on his Twitter. Let's check Instagram. Instagram. Let niggas know who the fuck I am. Instagram. Um, Victor Mo, I should like to point out that there are such things called troll accounts. Remember, you are the king of trolls, remember? How much I mess with Instagram. Just want to point that out. Let's go to Instagram. Okay, now here we are on Instagram, right? Let's search. Tommy, and there he, uh oh, I lost him. Isn't that neat when your name comes at the top of the list? Notice, the account is private. I'm not following him. Not trying to follow him. Haven't sent him any in indication that I wanted to follow him. I'm gonna try to move us so, around a bit. Once again, two or more occasions over a period of time. An element of protection, because see, Tommy knows what my wife looks like. He uh, he he wants to see this little microphone and tell everyone that that is my okay. wife. Okay. If I was standing in the middle, he's not showing uh, this the, the screen Roman caps. Coliseum and people pointed that your daughter, I wouldn't turn away. I'm not ashamed of any of my family, any of them. So with that said, saying something is one thing, but when I give you a visual, it's so much different. Now, some of you have already seen my daughter. Some of you have not. But I want to give you a visual because Tommy's... I'm going to stop it right there. Um, here's the thing. I'll probably download this video because there's going to be some evidence in it for me to use much, <laughs> much later. But he hasn't shown right there. I just went through it and I even went through the preview to see if I could see it. Um, no screenshots. You saw me do it. Tommy Joe Mario Jr. hates his father. Okay, that's okay. The stuff I catch I catch on black people. Okay. This is this is pointless. Like there's so many other crap tastic videos I had to go through. Really. You don't stalk Tommy, but you talk you're in everything he does. Okay. Crossing the line. Maybe he says so here. Let's see if he said it here. I'm gonna skip around, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna put y'all in a situation. I wanna put the black people in a situation. I wanna put the white people in a situation. And tell me, what would you do in this situation? That's just clickbait. So let's see. Mani Sotomayor, okay. Call the Coon hotline and find out why. Mani put it out, so share like he did. Interesting. I'm only going to magnify this video long enough so we can see what he's talking about. And if I can find a way to redact anything that's clearly visible, what's redacted? Now, I'm going to press pause here. You can't see the man's phone number up here. It's not visible. It's very blurred. Even with glasses and everything else, you'd have to, you really would have to zoom in. And if you zoom in, it's distorted. You can't see the man's phone number. So, there it is. I'm not going to go any point further than that. But I like how he went there. Let's keep going. Tommy Sotomayor Monty and the KKK plans for them. Okay. More made up shit. Tommy Sotomayor's mother is a bitch. Hey, he said it, not me. I'm just taking his word for it. Okay. I'm losing track of why I'm here. Nevertheless, we're going to look for that evidence so far you're not seeing it you're not seeing images or videos or screenshots of this contact message that a uh, victimone has well made 
or as said Tommy Sotomayor has made towards his wife. We're not seeing it. Now I'm going to slow down a bit because this is April 2015. We're not seeing this. So let's keep going. We take care of our own. This shit is smoking. Notice every time that Victimone has a uh, a beef, somebody has a beef with Tommy Sotomayor, Victimone is right on the. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Gotta take it easy on that green tea. Um, <laughs> Victimone is obviously, well, let's just call it what it is. He's cheerleading. He's got his pom poms on the sideline, shaking them. Ra ra shish kumba. Let's keep going. Shared Ronnie Man's video. I'm gonna. Well, no, that's probably his personal Facebook page. And out of respect, I'm not gonna go there because it's not it's not pertinent to the video. But I may go there later if I see a reason to. Let's see. Make, making people see the demons they can't see. Mm-hmm. Freddy got fingered. Obviously, a Freddy, Caribbean Freddy Krueger diss. We're not seeing anything so far. Victor Moan, where, where's his proof? You haven't given a date and time stamp. It's in 2014, I bet. So we're going to keep growing. I'm going to scroll through there. Wait a minute. Tommy Sotomayor tries to kill himself over Lana. New channel go sub that was put up on February 25th. A day, a year and a day, this channel's been up. That channel he just talked about was up for a year and a day. You know how I can say it's a year and a day because you're seeing on my lower right hand corner, you're seeing exactly what the day's date is and the time that this is being done. So you also know um, I'm doing extra work overtime doing some editing. Here we go. Let's see. In support of Barbie Bates. We'll, we'll get to that later. It'll be in the video. Let's see if he's talking about this. January 8th. Let's open this to see what he's talking about. Now see. I tried to be civil. I tried to be, you know. Nice. I'm going to go through the comment section on this video just, just out of curiosity so you can but, see some of the craziness. You know, when you're dealing with foreigners, sometimes, you know, shit just don't work out. I can't take this shit no more. Bitches and niggas trying to play a nigga for a hoe. And if I get you, I'm going to make you die slow. Bleed up on the block until they say, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Make me pull out my fufu. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Now, if we have any children, please step out. We'll freestyle. Oh, I like to do it. Top of the dome. Little taco boy. Let's just skip over it. They still come out and try to insinuate like you are. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna say this person's name, but you know, there's a couple things we need to clear up right quick before I even get real, real deep off into this video. First of all, the individual that I'm talking about, you know, he portrays himself as a black man, but He's not a black man. Here's the thing. If you come from another country into this country, you know, you taking on the title black man doesn't technically make you a black man. Now, this particular individual is from Colin or Colin, Panama. I, I, hopefully I pronounced that right. But... You know, you call yourself talking shit and you're from a third world country. But let me get off this video because apparently I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Come back to this, of course, later. Here we are. No DQ night. Scientific evidence for a worldwide flood. Surreal talk for TJ Sotomayor. Yep, more Tommy videos. 
A black woman assaults TJ Sotomayor. Mm hmm. AOV 27. Fuck these white devil worship racist cops. Uh huh. Council. Yep. Still not seeing it. Where is the evidence, victim? Where is the evidence? The white man strikes. Okay. Army of Victim Mode 25 is up. Let's see what that video was. Maybe that's got the evidence. Assuming the channel is uh, still intact, though he didn't take the video down. Oh, the video was flagged down. Oh, the channel was flagged down. Hmm. So all these videos are videos that were flagged down. Okay, KKK Anthony Camilla. And it's House Bet TJ Sotomayor. Yep. All these videos were flagged down, of course. I wonder why. <sighs> Let's see. October 14th. We're not seeing anything yet. Now, mind you, this is the same year that. I made the allegation about Vic Damone doing all this stuff. And he says that, of course, on his fan page, he hasn't seen that. You haven't seen that, excuse me. I'm getting side checked because I was reading that, those messages by Felicia Justice. I'll probably go up to those in a minute. But as you see me scrolling through the histories of this page, Tammy so soft my whore. Mm. All these videos uh, are down. The victim own report. So I'm going to go back to those videos in a minute. Because I want to see if he's actually uh, going to show the screenshots first. Right, this is the bottom of the page. So the vid the page was started on February 12, 2014. Correct? So let's go back to the, those videos that we bypassed. Not the GMA. Not this dumb uh, meme. Let's see what he said here. I talked about a story of a group of young black girls, which range from ages eight to seventeen. So let's skip around. Let's see if you produce that evidence. Why, you know, you have to lie. King Curl promo. The Farthest America actual dig. So this is him talking trash, right? Let's see if he's showing this video. Yeah, man, I just want to address this uh, 
person for the last time, um, you know, they, all of the uh, Tommy fans that see this video, ask yourself this one question. If I made threats to you saying GDs and Vice Lords were coming to beat you up. Well, let me back this up. This might be interesting. I'll Let's call play this to keep their name out my mouth. Uh, you know we talk about Tommy, right? Tommy, Tommy Sotomayor, yeah, but I'm not going to say his name. You know, he he really trips me out. You know, one minute, he promotes me. The next minute, he disses the fuck out of me. The next minute, he's promoting me again. I mean, I, you know, I don't, I don't get Where's it. the evidence, Vic? But I just want to address some of the lies that he's put out. Because um, they're lies, flat out. Okay, lie number one. Tommy said that I was going to have GDs and Vice Lords come and beat him up. Okay. Really? Now, Can you show where he said according that? According to him, I mean, I didn't call him. I don't have his number, so I would have had to say all this in a video, right? Well, see, he flagged that video down. And I want all of the uh, Tommy fans that see this video, ask yourself this one question. If I made threats to you, saying GDs and Vice Lords were coming to beat you up, wouldn't you keep that video up as proof of me stalking you? Wouldn't you have that up to say, oh, look, yeah, that nigga, look at this dumbass nigga, talking about blood and bitch. You see, this is where the lie comes in. And this is how Tommy does, see now, on his live show, for those that didn't watch it all the way through because they couldn't stay up for no goddamn six hours, but on his live show, you know, he uh, basically came out and said that he has 98 YouTube channels. 98. So what was the name of that show, Vic? By his own admission, he is capable of flagging down any video that he wants at any given time. Then 98 flags. Okay. Uh, and you know lying you know what I'm saying so that way if let's say he flags down your video he'll come out with a response video lie about it and then by the time you get your video back up then he'll say oh well see look that person's lying look at that, that's a lie you see this is the scam behind Tommy Sotomayor and um, like I said you know the Bloods and the Crip thing that was a complete lie I mean only thing I said to this man in this video was that if he kept fucking with me, I was going to flag his shit. From that, he turned that into the Bloods and Crips are coming to get I, 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 Like I said, I'm sorry, y'all. I'll never understand this man's life. He said that um, I talked about his daughter. Once again, another lie. I mean, Tommy, if you can produce anything that, you, that, that I'm saying... Why haven't you put that in a video? Why haven't you put some of these things that people are saying in a video? Or do your classic, I'll show you the link. I mean, you talk about attention. I mean, that's not giving someone attention. That's backing your story. That's proving what you say. Now, you said that I accused, well, excuse me, you said that I was going to um, send Bloods and Crips to your house. I'm saying right now that's a lie, so prove it. You said I talked about your daughter. I'm saying right now that's a lie. You said I put it in a video, prove it. Prove that I did these things. Because if you can't, that's gonna make you look really bad, Tommy. You can't prove any of these things that you're saying and you have been preaching for the past week. Prove it. If you can't prove it, you're in trouble. Flat out. Now, you want to you want to bring up the situations of families and this, that, the other? Okay, Tommy, I said that you were a piece of shit father. I said that your daughter considers you, looks at you like an uncle, like a cousin. How do you equate that into talking about your daughter, you dumb ass nigga? I was talking about you. I said this is how your daughter looks at you, you. You. Tom. While he's going on with this nonsense, I'm gonna load up the next part. Is real quick. So let's see but what's going on. We'll, we'll go back to this for a second. 
But for a minute, I'm going to load up this page. So why are you lying on your own child? See, that, 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 that's something that fathers don't do. You see? Fathers, we don't do that. I mean, damn. Now you bringing your own children into this. Did nobody say nothing about that little girl? I don't even know her name. So why would I say something about it? See, the thing is, you have a problem admitting defeat. Now, I'm not talking about on the level of, you know, chasing you off of YouTube. You have a problem admitting when someone, when you basically do disses, like how yeah, you do your little ether videos, and you diss people, this, that, the other, and you get paid for doing your ethers. Some of those ethers were paid for ethers. You get pissed when someone comes along and can make a better video than you. I'm going to... That's all that Hold is. on. That's it. I'm going to stop this BS argument right here because apparently Vic is running his mouth as usual, but there's no evidence involved here. There isn't. But I'm going to go back and show you something. Now, Vic Damone claims he gets views. Now, these are all the videos that you see my cursor pass and they did to me. None of those videos are over 500 views. They're not even going to get close to 1,000 views. But let's look at some of the things he said in the video. In fact, he went and made this public the same day the, the email exchange started. So let's go, right? Now, I'm going to mute the video because there's no point to hear it. You already, you're going to see me add this in the series anyway. But Vic DeMond told about he's popular. Notice his subtotal. Notice the like to dislike ratio. Now let's see some of these comments. Really? These are the comments you got. Now you can see on all my comments, I get likes on my comments. Even someone told him in this video that this argument is pretty shitty. Now somebody made a very poignant uh, observation. Let's see if this will load up. It's taking a while to load. I don't know why. But someone pointed out something that made a real uh, good thing. A really big thing. Oh, there it is. So you see. He mentioned, Asriel donated money to Tommy, but you donated your heart and soul to the man. LOL. I mean, you guys can read this for yourself. And this man has pointed out, Vic Damone has told the whole, has been screwing around and saying all this other crap. Now, there he goes right there, ladies and gentlemen. He says, it. he says a whole bunch of stuff. There it is. He missed, so if my wife got 15000 and never wanted to be on, then that means I got to work harder. Never mind that. I was thinking something else for a minute. Don't pay me no mind. Oh, now this is the realest shit ever. Fred Casey says, I don't like 95% of what Tommy has got to say, but nigga, you corny as hell talking about another man like that. Bro, you already defeated because you obviously are obsessed with this big mouth, big lip nigga. And nigga, you on the cell phone which you're showing your head because the screen ain't big enough. Man, whatever, let whatever go and get a life. It's not that damn serious. Damn, y'all corny as hell. People, remember... He talked shit about me. He brought up Tommy Sotomayor more than he was talking about me in the video. And everybody's calling him on it in his own comment section. Read this for yourself. And some people said some out of line stuff that you're going to see here. Some people going to say some out of line stuff. Let's we'll see if there's any more comments. Or is there more comments? So let's go to the next video. He made this video to me, and then after my response, first response, he claimed he's trying to holler back at me. You'll see the video when I put it up. Notice the views, likes, dislikes. He says, The lies I tell.
Notice the comments he's getting on this video. Somebody makes out a very poignant response. Ralph Bottle says, so you can lie on Tommy, but the truth must be told about you. Well, here's something true about you. You are an unemployed bum and your wife buys you wheat and Wi-Fi. Doodles. These are some of the comments he's gotten. So, now, this was all on the same day. The video he put up to me, the next video, he right on the same day. He put him up. One more for the road. Like he's trying to roast me. Somebody trying to, trying to diss me. And I just responded with some witty retorts. Here's my exchange with him. Oh, we not done. 36 minutes of lies. The next video has proof that you just lied, dumbass. Really? Obviously, I think Uncle Victor, Uncle Victor's a troll account. <laughs> Ooh, Sam Dean goes, you play around on YouTube like it's a full-time full 40-hour-a-week job but get no money. Let's read some more of these comments open. So, mind you, this person is taking victim on to task for not talking shit about me, but for the fact that his carpet is dirty. Um, Y'all can pause the video and read this, but for the sake of brevity, I'm going to keep it pushing along. The weight of all them L's is wearing you out just like that piss and shit stained carpet by the closet door that won't clean up. Everybody tell them clean that whatever it is, it's very well made. I'm sorry, you can't make this up. So he said, look at the date. Let's go to this other comment section. I'm, I'm showing you the comment sections because he swears he's getting likes on his videos. Same day. Now he says, look at, look at, I want you to look here. January is where I met Tommy. February, he tried to get me to join him. March, he inboxes my wife. Now you guys saw in the inbox, you saw when I went down his, his his YouTube his Facebook page his fan page, no screen caps. He said, "This way he makes the claim," and I tell him produce screen caps. I mean, look at this delusional motherfucker. Seriously. Like... Read this for yourself. Let's see the rest of these comments. Who 
says you mad. Really? <laughs> but Uncle Victor says some point. He said, no, but we all can clearly see you are, which is true. This motherfucker makes four videos to me in one day. One day. So let's go to the final video that he made. Then I'm gonna close the screen recording and get back to and get back on it how I was on it and do what we gotta do. So this is the video he put up, the final video he put up to me on the 10th. So you know I didn't make this shit up. Out of all four videos he produced on the same day, this is the one that got the most views. These are all the things I said. I want y'all to take the time and read the screenshots. I'm going through the screen caps so you guys can see this for yourselves. So you can't say I made this up. Just go through the caps. Good old Vic. Just, there's no more comments. I guess good old Vicky moved all the comments.